everyone, this is Penny with Hey Try This. Thank you so much for joining me. I always like to cook with foods that are high in anti-inflammatory, but taste amazing and are beautiful to the eye. Today we will be making a raw pad thai salad. I love my spiralizer and I can guarantee you this, if you have little kids and you bring them into the kitchen to help you spiralize your vegetables, more than likely, they're gonna to start to eat those. Just push that into that little knob that's there, then right here, these little forks. Just press those in, and you just start twisting. Look at that, they're so fun, and you're like, can you eat these raw? You can cook them just a little bit with a little bit of olive oil, spiralized sweet potatoes. These make amazing fries. Just the sweet potatoes alone with some seasonings and some other vegetables will also make a wonderful salad. I'm adding some cabbage some sugar snap peas helps with inflammation and it's nutrient dense. I'm gonna add my green onions. Just look at all those colors. If you like that little bit of extra heat, you can always use a red chili. Now be careful because I, I always try my chilies beforehand just to see what the heat level is. For the Thai peanut sauce, I prefer to use powdered peanut butter because you're, you're still getting the same amount of protein per tablespoon, but you're getting a lot less calories. So I'm adding about a half a cup of peanut butter. Just remember that you want to add a little bit less water because you want a thicker paste. We're going to be adding some lime juice to it also. Mixing up that peanut sauce, I'm going to add about one to two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. I like that little extra zing in the dressing. One teaspoon of sesame seed oil, two cloves of minced garlic, adding one tablespoon of tamari. You can also use amino acids if you don't want that soy. Now here comes my wonderful key flavor element is sriracha. Keep everything off to the side because as I keep adding my ingredients, I keep tasting. Mm, you know what? I need to add a little bit more sriracha. Right, so I want to make sure that once I add this to the spiralized veggies, that you're going to get that little bit of extra kick. Whenever anything calls for sweetness, turn to the maple syrup. I am going to be adding cilantro. You don't need to add cilantro, you can always add parsley to peanuts. Once again, this is your decision, this is your call. If you have a nut allergy, you can always use a seed butter for this sauce. You will be amazed, it's great with spring rolls, it's great with just plain noodles. This sauce is very, very versatile. We're gonna mix that up. And again, just look at all that. And what I know, here we go. There is the never ending noodle. That red pepper, those carrots, this plate is just full of high antioxidants, good for your inflammation. And because I want a little bit of extra added protein, I marinated some tofu in the peanut sauce. Oh my gosh, so now you just add this right to the top. Tomorrow morning for breakfast, you're gonna take chickpea flour, some water. You're gonna cut up these extra noodles and you're gonna incorporate that into that chickpea flour mix. Now you have an Asian pancake for breakfast. And if you have rice paper at home, you can now make spring rolls. So this bowl of goodness has so many different variations that you can do with it. Just a recap of what we did, we made spiralized noodles out of sweet potato, carrot, and zucchini, all from your garden. We spiralized those and we made a raw pad thai salad with a peanut thai dressing. The peanut thai dressing can go on many different things and then I marinated some tofu. I'm always searching for anti-inflammatory foods that can be prepared in amazing ways. Thank you for joining me on Hey Try This. I'm Penny, your host, and we can do this together.